guys, Probable 1701 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the horror of Fang Rock with updated special effects. My season 15 set finally crossed the pond. I'm super excited. It's sad that I don't have enough room to get all of the sets over now. I mean, in a way, that's a cool thing. That's a nice thing. There's so many, I can't fit them all on the shelf. I love that. But on the other hand, I like actually, I wish I could get them all in one row. So I had to move my McCoy ones down here, but <laughs> um, the updated effects are fantastic. Uh, I'm going to start off with that. This is definitely the definitive version of the story for me. Uh, there are a couple of them that are a little more questionable, like the shots of the ship right before it crashes. The last one, that's the cliffhanger, is great. I definitely prefer the new updated shot, but there's a couple little shots before that. This, it's obviously CGI, and it looks a little out of place. Like when Ruben is looking through the eye hole, and you see the ship, well, through the, the eye hole, the telescope, and sees the ship. I think I prefer the original effect, and then when it shows the ship kind of coming through the mist from the front, I think I might prefer the original effect. It's just a little jarring sometimes going in 70s Who if you see something that's immediately CGI. Sometimes it's not. I mean, most of the time it's not for me. Um, I'm watching through the invasion right now. I actually have part three up on the TV. You can't see it, but I'm right in the middle of part three of the invasion of time with updated effects. But on, the, on a rare occasion, it does jump out at me, and it does in those two little shots. But the actual cliffhanger of the ship crashing on the rocks looks much better in uh, the new version, the update with the updated effects. That was always one of my very few quibbles with Horror Fang Rock <coughs> is <clears throat> that cliffhanger because it always you could always tell it was a model. Uh, the Rutan, I like the little sneak peeks we get of it, like when Leela sees it down, how it's more among the rocks and you just kind of see part of it instead of just seeing it faintly. In the like in the original shot, I like that improved shot better. The um, shot of the Rutan going up the lighthouse looks better. I like how instead of from the front, it's kind of from the side. I still wish it was a little more in shadow, like they didn't show quite as much of it. It looks kind of like a beach ball going up the side, honestly. Um, like I wish like you barely saw just a little bit of it and it was mostly just the green glow covering. I think that would have worked better, but I do prefer the updated shot over the original effect. Uh, when people get electrocuted, I sometimes think they added a little too much to that. I think the original effect worked pretty well. Uh, sometimes I think it works better than others. Sometimes when he's when Ruben's electrocuting someone, I think the updated effect works. Sometimes I think I prefer the original. It's it's fine either way. I never had a problem with that effect, either the original or the updated. It's fine. I can go either way on that one. Where it really shines are the scenes when the creature is either shape-shifting or starting to shape-shift. Like when we see Ruben in his room and he's glowing, how they added him kind of split, like it's starting to split open, but you don't see the full reveal. That's really nice. I love the updated shot when Leela throws the knife at Ruben and he kind of splits to dodge it and goes back. That's really good. I love that updated shot. So much better than the original shot when he just kind of glowed for a second. You're not quite sure what happened. Much improved. And then, of course, the transformation of Reuben into the Rutan. Reuben the Rutan um, is much better now with it splitting and then glowing and then changing. That's a much better effect. And then the Rutan itself is so much better. Uh, uh, the original Rutan design was fine with me in the sense, in concept, as a jellyfish, I liked it. Its execution on screen was always a little, <coughs> a little rough, kind of one of the few criticisms you could have of the story because it's such a good story. I really like the updated design. I didn't think I'd like the eye, but I do actually like the eye because it does move and shift a little bit, and the tentacles look really nice. Uh, I It's a little more convincing when it's going up and down the stairs. And then the, sh the shot of when it's fatally injured and it's dying with the big hole in it looks really, really good. I'm a huge fan of uh, the updated effect for the Rutan. Big time. That definitely makes this the definitive version to watch. The spaceship at the end also looks way better. I wish the spaceship wasn't quite so bright. It's so enormously lit. It's a little too colorful for me. But that's, again, kind of keeping uh, in line with the original one, which was just a glowing 
ball, basically. So the fact it's bright is sticking with continuity there. Um, and it, it is definitely an improvement over the original design. When the original Suntaran ship crashes into the water, it looks better. And the Suntaran, not, I'm saying Suntaran, the Rutan mothership, uh, when it um, comes down at the end and gets destroyed, also looks better. I do like I like the updated effects a lot. This will probably be... I guess I like Horror Fang Rock enough I can watch either version, and I might go watch the original version every now and then just to watch it, but I think my pref, my preferred version will definitely be with the updated effects. Uh, what it does with Ruben changing and with the Ruton itself and that episode one cliffhanger uh, really makes it shine. Uh, definitely much prefer that. The story itself, of course, I love the horror of Fang Rock. It's one of the best. It's got tension. It's got atmosphere. It just drips with atmosphere. The uh, studio work looks really, really good. Like, I almost said location work, and there isn't any. <coughs> but uh, it, it's so well good. The sets are well made. Uh, Tom Baker is on fire. Louise Jameson is on fire. I really like the guest cast in this. Like, the characters themselves aren't the most fleshed out. They are kind of, you know, archetypes or archetypes. Um, they definitely kind of have archetype characters. But you get what drives each character. You understand what motivates them. You, have, you get a real feel for each character in the story. And I think the actors do the most with what they have. Even Adelaide, there, there's not much to her, but the actress playing her does what she can with what she has, and they all pull off their parts effectively. Um, I mean, Ben's hardly in the story, but I like Ben. The actor playing Ben does a good job with Ben. I love Colin as Reuben. As Reuben and as the root in disguise as Reuben, he puts in two amazing performances. Uh, the guy playing Vince does good. <clears throat> all of them put in good performances. I really like the guy playing Harker, too. I would forgotten about Harker. Oddly enough, I had completely forgotten about Harker's character. And I watched this story like two or three years ago. Uh, I believe it was a request from Ham, because Ham loves Horror Fang Rock. I think that's his favorite Doctor Who story. Um, and he had requested uh, when he was a patron for me to watch it, and I had, uh, which I'd seen it before. But I completely forgot about Harker, and I like Harker. He just seems like he has a sense of honor to him, and the fact that he, you're going to sail in this, he's like, <laughs> no, I won't, am I now? No, oh, oh. And I have to admit, the look on Harker's face when he's dead is terrifying that is the stuff of nightmares like when they find harker and you see his face he looks like he was scared to death like frightened out of his wits to the point he had a heart attack see that look on his face and he's just it's terrifying you see that shot of his face and wow like that's someone died of fright that's creepy that's good acting right there that's a good death face Got to give props to that. The one hiccup I have with the Horror of Fang Rock is I don't quite get how Adelaide got killed. There's this weird jump. Like her, the older guy with the gray hair, and Leela were in the back room, and then the Reuben Rutan walks in smiling, and then it cuts away to the doctor, and when it cuts back, Adelaide is screaming as Reuben grabs her. We, I don't understand how Adelaide got across the room. Like I don't know if she tried to run past him. I feel like there's a, a shot missing somewhere there. Like, I don't... Because I, I wouldn't think Adelaide would be the person who would go anywhere near him. So I don't understand how she goes from this side of the room to right next to Reuben with him going and killing her. I don't... It's really jarring. It's really, really jarring. It's the one thing that knocks the story, especially with the updated effects, from a 10 out of 10 to, like, a 9.8 out of 10. Is because it's so jarring. I even rewound it. Like, did I miss something? I rewound it a bit and... No, just, she's just suddenly there and Ruben's killing her. And I'm like, you figure Leela would be like, do not go near the old one or something. It's it's just, I can't wrap my head around that. For some reason, that really bothers me. But other than that, I love everything about it. Oh, I also like the new CGI shot of the TARDIS leaving at the end and how Daybreak is coming during it. Because, of course, the original shot is a model shot of the TARDIS leaving. So I love right there at the end, the last shot before the credits, when the Doctor is quoting the old poem is a CGI shot of the TARDIS leaving and you see daybreak happening. You know, it is it, like the dawn is coming. I love that. That's a great shot. So I love Horror Fang Rock. It's still one of the best. Uh, Tom's putting in such a good performance and I love the atmosphere and the tension and the base under siege and being trapped in a lighthouse on an island with no way out. There's something creepy about that. I absolutely love it. Of course, Tom has that wonderful episode three cliffhanger, but I, I 
trapped it in with us. Great cliffhanger. Great cliffhanger. The story, all the cliffhangers are good. <clears throat> the ship crashing on the rocks, especially with the updated effects. <coughs> the scream from Reuben. And um, that one I just talked about. Those are all really good cliffhangers. Such a good story. Love the horror of Fang Rock. So, I want to know what you think of the horror of Fang Rock, the masterpiece that it is. Comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button and let me know what you think of the updated effects as well. I also have a Patreon if you would like to support me on that. There is a link to that down in the description below. I also have a P.O. Box if there's anything you'd like to send me to look at and review. I have a link to my Amazon wish list down there and a link to my Amazon UK wish list, which I've added some stuff to recently, like some of these standard editions I'd like to get down there as well. I want to give a shout out to some of my top tier patrons, Finn Perkins and Colin Coney. I appreciate their support as I do the support of all of my patrons. It's very much appreciated. And most importantly, thank you for watching.